Good evening everybody. It is just about 8.15 in the evening on Sunday the 16th of May 2021. I must have the best timing ever. I just got home from showing a farm which turned out to only be 20 minutes away. I thought it was 40 minutes away. So when it only took me 20 minutes to get there I was pretty psyched because I knew this vessel was going to be here right around now and that extra time I saved meant I got home in time to see this. What you're looking at is the James R. Barker from the Interlake Steamship Company. They are arriving here very slowly at Rotary Park and Mission Point here in Sault Ste. Marie. I'm going to pan back a little bit. There's the superstructure peeking up over the treetops. They are going very slowly because the Arthur M. Anderson is in the lock right now. Sitting on the wall below the lock is the Manitoulin. And above the lock is the Salty uh, Ludigrets. Now all three of those vessels are going to have to go through before the James R. Barker because they all got here first. So he's got quite a weight and he's basically just coasting at the moment. He's probably going to float in the lock after the Anderson comes out, I think the Manitoulin will go in next and that will free up the wall where the Barker can actually tie up and wait until the Ludigrets comes out after that. So, Captain Newland is aboard. I believe our friend Kevin Davis is aboard as well. He is a wheelsman. I don't know if he's actually wheeling at the moment. Chief Steward Jody Bouchard is aboard as well, I believe. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that gives me goosebumps every time he does that and this was no exception. Wonderful master salute from Captain Newland. I'm guessing his daughter is over there watching. That was a huge master. He always does one for her every time he is in town. She will come down. She attends the university here. So she comes down to see him at this point and he'll likely be outside waving at her right now saying hello. I'll zoom back in again to the pilot house. We won't be able to see because he'll be on the other side but that was just gigantic. That's probably one of the longer ones he's ever done here. And why not? I mean he's going so slow. <laughs> I really hope somebody was recording that over on that side because that's just going to be gigantic. When they actually do finally lock through they will go across Lake Superior westbound and um, pull into two harbors and they will load iron ore there at the CN dock and then we'll see where they're going when they come back down again. This direction is the best way to hear that salute because the uh, whistle or horn as we call it is at the top of the pilot house and it faces outward so it would be facing us. When they go the other direction it's facing down river so from where I am, this is way better to hear it when they come upbound. So I'm really glad that timing worked out and we were able to hear that. 
That little beep you just heard was the Sugar Islander Ferry. That's them there on the left. They'll be pulling away. That salute makes people happier than anything, I think. Anyone who's a boat nerd absolutely loves that salute from the James R. Barker. And nobody can seem to do it quite like Captain Newland. He just has this way. <laughs> it's absolutely perfection. So big thank you to him for that. I'm sure everybody over there is super excited. Well, we've got some time because he is crawling along. I'm going to remind everybody about the post that I have pinned at the very top of my page. It discusses the James R. Barker's fleet mate, the Paul R. Tregurtha and Captain Bob. As many of you would probably know by now, Captain is retiring in and around July 7th. So this hitch that he is on right now on the Paul R. will be his final one. So the post at the top of the page talks about that and encourages everyone to go buy a card for Captain and just write some notes of encouragement or thank yous or whatever it is that you want to put inside and mail it off to the Sioux Marine Supply. I have included the address that you would send it to. Part of Sioux Marine Supply's objective is to supply the ships. They bring out all their mail, they bring out all of their office supplies, furniture, groceries, everything. So any downbound trip that an interlake steamship vessel makes, they are serviced by the Ojibwe supply boat as soon as they lock through. So every time the PRT comes through between now and the 7th of July when Captain Bob leaves, I am hoping that he will have a nice package of uh, cards from people thanking him for his years on the lakes. So take a check out of that. Um, write the email or the email. Write the address down and then pop out and grab a card and get it sent off to Captain Bob as a last hurrah and thank you for everything he's done for us on the lakes. For now this is the James R. Barker. They are coasting into the harbor at the moment waiting for the Arthur Anderson to come out of the lock. I'm very glad Captain Newland did that wonderful salute and we're very thankful for that. We'll see them when they come back downbound again they're on their way to Two Harbors, Minnesota getting ready to load some iron ore from the CN dock there. Hope you're all having a great evening and did have a great weekend. I will be back with some more as soon as I can be. Take care everybody. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.